Akshita, for India also, this is very, very critical, very, very crucial. The one thing that we are telling the world at the moment is that leaps and bounds we have come forward. You know, if we speak about space and how how sound Indians actually are, because Subhanshu Shukla is the pilot of this very, very Watch. crucial, uh, uh, you know, takeoff that we will see in about maybe four, four and a half hours from now. That's right. Uh, he is the pilot of this mission. So when you actually see the docking happening, which will be 28 hours after liftoff. So if liftoff happens at 12.01 p.m. as planned, uh, that is the exact specific time that they will aim. Not a minute before, not a minute after. At 12.01 p.m. is when liftoff will actually happen. So if that happens, then 28 hours later is when docking at the International Space Station will take place. And for that, Group Captain Shukla is going to be piloting essentially that moment of that docking. It's of course completely automated as is usually the case in these kind of space flights. But if uh, you know there's any point where things have to be taken up manually, all eyes will be on Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla. And that's where his experience as a test pilot of the IAF, that's where all of the training that he's undergone for the last many months will actually kick in. For India, of course, this is a huge deal after Rakesh Sharma 1984. Now you've got another astronaut in space. But he himself, uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla himself, Ashwarya, will be involved in a whole lot of firsts. The fact that he will be the first ever Indian to be at the International Space Station. Uh, and secondly, we'll be spending a lot more time in space than uh, uh, Rakesh Sharma. Rakesh Sharma was there for about seven days. Group Captain Shukla is going to be there for double that time, for 14 days. Uh, but he recognizes what a big deal it is for India. You know, I remember there was a press conference a few weeks ago. Uh, it was virtual, of course, considering that Group Captain Shukla was in quarantine. And uh, he did speak about how when he goes to space, a lot of questions came in saying, what are you carrying with you? And he said uh, that, look, I'm carrying with me the billions and hopes uh, of all the Indians. Uh, and, you know, that's a beautiful way of putting it because that's essentially what this is about. You're going to be seeing every Indian glued to the TV screen this afternoon, hoping and praying for a successful mission. Uh, and all our wishes, thoughts, prayers, of course, with Group Captain Shuban Shashukla, with his family. We're so proud. We've spoken to their family members who are in Lucknow. They're all extremely excited and so proud of uh, the fact uh, that group captain Shubhansha Shukla is getting to represent the nation in this manner. Right, Akshita, you know, just stay on with me. And Akshita, you also spoke about the family and how excited they are. Let's now listen in to a proud father. Let's listen in to what Shubhansha Shukla's father has said about this mission. We are very happy to see the mission हम लोगों को बहुत अच्छा लगता है और दुआएं हैं ईश्वर से प्रार्थना भी है कि उसका मिशन अच्छी तरह पूरा हो इसके लिए हम सभी लोग परिवार के जितने भी सदस्य जितने हैं सब उसको आशीर्वाद देते हैं Akshita, Akshita uh, there will also be close to 60 scientific uh, experiments, scientific experiments that will be done in these 14 days so with regards to that also all the eyes on how successful this mission will be. Uh, very true. And these are hand-picked experiments that each agency has had a role in choosing. ISRO also has gotten an opportunity to pick certain uh, uh, experiments that they'd like conducted. They focused a lot, Ashwarya, uh, on what kind of impact microgravity has on the human body. This is, of course, for uh, takeaways and learnings for the Gaganyaan mission. They have also focused a lot on uh, crew nutrition. What that means is essentially they're looking into how seeds will germinate in space. Uh, Shubhanshu Shukla has in fact been sent there with multi-variety of seeds, which ISRO has again chosen. Uh, that will be taken to see how seeds germinate because they want to understand really agriculturally what kind of seeds uh, can grow in space, what it takes. So all of that essentially will be the focus. And another very, very important aspect of uh, this particular mission and an experiment that will be conducted is whether astronauts who are diabetic can actually manage to fly, can actually be a part of these space missions, what can be done for that. Uh, and that is something that will be very close to each of these astronauts' hearts because it opens up, of course, a whole lot of opportunities for so many more out there. Which is why I said that, you know, in this kind of a mission, it's not just a collaborative effort that benefits India, Poland, Hungary, the countries involved. 
but the world. It benefits every single country, every single astronaut out there who's looking to be a part of a space mission, who's looking to go into space, because the experiments that have been picked, this may be a public-private collaborative effort, multi-nation effort, but the experiments that have been picked has clearly been with the intention of ensuring uh, that there's a way for us to learn going forward as well uh, on how astronauts can also do better on what it takes, the impact it has on their bodies, which we've seen to a large extent in the previous space missions, even in the mission recently by Sunita Williams, where she was stranded in space for much longer than originally planned to be. Uh, there was so much talk of the impact it would have on her body. She had to come back, of course, recuperate from that. But that will be one of the core points of focus, really, of this particular space mission as well, as astronauts will be very closely, all four of them, including Group Captain Shukla, they'll all be very, very closely uh, tracking and monitoring the impact it's having on their bodies so that all of the space agencies involved can also get crucial details to go forward with their own respective missions. Akshita, you know, some of the quotes that are actually edged in our mind, one of the most famous of them, one small step for man and a giant leap for mankind. Now, these were the words that were spoken by Neil Armstrong and actually he was the first person to walk on moon. So, these kind of missions actually have a huge impact on mankind as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, you spoke of uh, that very iconic message. Uh, let me just highlight, you, uh, highlight for you also what Rakesh Sharma has said. Uh, you know, that moment that none of us can forget in 1984 where there was a conversation uh, between uh, Indira Gandhi and Rakesh Sharma and she asked, how does uh, India look from space? And he said, Sare jaan se achha. So I remember that Shubhanshu Shukla was asked about that moment and asked, you know, if you had a similar message from space, what would it be? He said that, look, I'll have to go and see what my message will be. But at the same time, I know the kind of hopes pinned on me. And there was a question uh, that we here at India today had also asked Group Captain Shukla on whether there is a scheduled call with Prime Minister Modi once he's there at the International Space Station. He said that there is a planned call with a, a VIP, but there are no details yet on who that will be. So you can actually watch out for that as well. That in the next few days, once Group Captain Shukla is there, once, of course, they're comfortable and all necessary procedures are done, there could be calls made. Uh, from uh, planet Earth, essentially, uh, back to the International Space Station, where even there could be a possibility of Prime Minister Modi congratulating Group Captain Shukla on behalf of the entire nation. So maybe we could see a moment like that of Rakesh Sharma referring, referring to India as Sare Jahan Se Acha, a similar moment between Group Captain Shukla and Prime Minister Modi as well as part of this mission. It's a huge moment for the world, for India. If you look at the Gaganyan mission, remember the Group Captain Shukla is someone who was chosen for the Gaganyan mission. Uh, and that's where essentially he shot to the national spotlight. Uh, he was handpicked for this mission considering his experience as a, a test pilot in the Indian Air Force. And then from there, to be chosen for this particular mission. The reason that his name was picked out was because, one, they were looking for a, a pilot for this mission. Secondly, because India wanted to ensure that someone who was a part of the Gaganyan mission be a part of the AX4 mission, because the learning here is infinite. Uh, and, you know, essentially for Group Captain Shukla, what this will mean, and for ISRO, what this will mean is that when they uh, go ahead with a launch for Gaganyan, all right. four astronauts who are a part of it, it's not going to be their first time. This will be essentially uh, the second time for Group Captain Shukla, not just him. You know, remember that there is also a standby Nair who's also a part of the Gaganyan mission, who's been through the entire rigorous training that Group Captain Shukla has been through. So he too has gone through that training. Invaluable experience here. There are a lot of questions that I hear being asked constantly, uh, Aishwarya, of what is the need to spend so much money? Why spend 500 crores to ensure to book a seat on this kind of a space mission. The learning is invaluable here and it helps us so much in our own space journey and all of the leaps that we are making as well uh, in this particular sector.